it's your girl oh so it is me i am miss flawless that's me um and if you made it to my channel hello how are you i'm back on youtube trying something new well trying you know to get back in the groove um i just had a baby i got a baby so I'm coming back new with some content, some videos, some Q&A, some get to know me, some lifestyle, entrepreneurship, motherhood, you name it. So I've decided to answer some new YouTuber questions. This is going to be the new YouTuber tag. Um, just so you guys can get to know me if you don't already know me. Uh, the first question that we have is what is your name and the name of your channel so my name is alexis and the name of my channel is going to be it should be at i am miss flawless it might be a little variation to it i don't really know it might be like miss the life of miss flawless or at i am miss flawless just that simple um and the name what is the what does the name of your channel mean? Um, so basically, for those that do know, or if you don't know, I have a business. I am an entrepreneur. My business name is Flawless Appeal. Um, and I sell women's luxury cosmetics, mainly eyelashes. Uh, and I do eyelash extensions. So the the name behind my youtube channel at i am is flawless is my students will even tell you because i teach classes as well that i always tell them you are your brand so what other way am i my brand by sit not saying that by saying that y'all get what i'm saying i am is flawless i am my brand i am me so therefore no the best name for me is i am is flawless i can only be me and i can only be my brand um where are you from now this question everybody else that knows me is gonna have a different answer for this question and i learned this at my baby shower they almost kicked me to the curb my friends almost disowned me because everybody thinks i'm from a different place so I'm from Florida. I don't care what y'all say. I was born on my birth certificate. It says Florida. And that's what I'm sticking to. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm from Florida. I moved to New York when I was 9 or 10. I moved to New York. And then I was in New York for a while. And that's where I met most of my friends. You know, lifelong people that I've known. I have family there. Um... And then after New York, my family moved to Atlanta, well, to Georgia. Um, and I've been here since high school. So I, I'm from all over. Let everybody else tell it. But if anybody, when people ask me, where are you from? I say Florida. Period. Okay. Oh, why did you start a YouTube channel? So I started this channel for me. Um, I just feel like. I want to express myself and I want to find people that can relate to me and people that I can relate to or people that I have things in common with because the main focus of my channel is that I want people to be able to relate to me and I want people to be able, I want to inspire people. Um, I feel like there's so much on social media that makes people want to just you can get depressed like from social media just because you see what everybody else has going on in their life and not everybody is relatable because you don't know what they had to go through to get to that point or you don't know everything not saying that i'm going to share everything because certain things i will keep you know private because that's just how i am but i just want to inspire other women and be relatable like there could be younger girls that are going through something and they're like hey at least I know I'm not the only one going through this. So, um, if you're a girl boss, if you're an entrepreneur, um, if you're a young mom, if you're a boss mom, if you are in the military, if you have a military family, um, this is for you. Like, I'm doing this for me, but if you can relate to it, 
I'll be your big sis. I'll be your little sis. I'll be your mentor. I will be your... I won't be your mom because... It's just my son. It's just my boy for now, okay? But I can be that, you know, light that you might need or that inspiration that you might need to just keep going. What will your channel be about? Entrepreneurship, being your own boss, being a girl boss, starting a business, running a business, being a mom because I'm a new mom. I have a five-month-old son. And lifestyle, my life, uh, anything that goes on in my life, um, that I want to blog that I'm comfortable with sharing um, as far as like military life goes because my man is in the army so if you find anything that I do anything that's going on in my life relatable that's what my YouTube's gonna be about uh, what do you hope to achieve with your channel like I said I want to inspire people I want to be relatable um, I want people to just you know I want to be real and be open and be honest like they're so much fake things going on in the world so many people faking it just to you know please others or just to look good for social media flexing online like they got it when they really don't so i just want to be that person that's open and honest and you know relatable and real top three favorite youtubers uh i love raven elise i watch her videos a lot she's a mom she's a um youtuber uh mompreneur so she's definitely relatable. I watch her videos quite often. Uh, I watch. I used to watch Aaliyah J a a lot when I was into like makeup. I still am, but if you a mom, shh, girl, getting ready with a baby, trying to do my makeup, impossible. That's why I had to just start getting my lashes done because before I used to wear my strips all the time, but with a baby i need my lashes done my brows done so i can literally just wake up do my hair and go because if not that already takes me like an hour to do and that's shower and do my hair and get dressed because i gotta stop what i'm doing my baby needs me so i went off on a tangent but my top three Aaliyah, raven and i've recently started watching tiara j beauty she's um in the mil her husband's in the military so i've been watching some videos about that because i am new to the military life um and i've just been watching videos and she's very relatable because she's in the beauty industry as well who inspired you to start a channel um i would say myself like i just i just feel like i should be doing more and i'm i'm very hard on myself like my man and my best friend will tell you can tell you that I am so hard on myself it's crazy like I I've done a lot when they tell me like Alexis why are you even stressed about this again like you got this I'm just hard on myself so I feel like I inspired myself and I'm pushing myself to do this and just go for it if you could collab with anyone right now who would it be it would be my girl Imani Imani BTV. Follow her. Um, she's in Atlanta too. We went to school together. I graduated from Georgia State and she's about to graduate. Congrats, boo. I would collab with her because she's my friend. We're close. Um, just so you guys can see like what real life is like. Like really real over here, okay? Real people. Um, which channel already on YouTube will yours most likely be like? I'm gonna be myself. I'm gonna be me. Everyone's different. So therefore, my channel is gonna be like my channel. What is your favorite thing about the YouTube community? I love that, like when I read comments on people's channels, like your YouTube family, your YouTube community, they really be down for you. I feel alone sometimes, so I feel like um, I just need some people that are, you know, in my circle, some people that I can, you know, hey, thanks, boo. Some people would be like, hey girl, like, yes, I can totally relate. Yes, yes, yes. So I just want to inspire people and I want to motivate. And I feel like um, that's my thing with YouTube. I feel like it's a it's a very tight knit, I would say. It was a huge community. But at the same time, it's like once you got your people, you got your people. What is your least favorite thing about the YouTube community? I don't really have a least favorite thing. I don't know. What do you think you can bring to the YouTube community that isn't already there? 
me the fuck duh me i am that shit I'm, but for real though toot toot my horn i feel like i can bring a lot of inspiration a lot of positive vibes flawless vibes um girl boss vibes like i could bring me that's all i could do and if you like it you like it if you don't you don't period <laughs> now three things we should know about you i i always be random when i answer these questions like just like i always feel so basic when i answer these but this is me um i'm a mom that's been my go-to like all the time recently i'm a mom i'm a young mom i have my own business and i do bomb lashes <laughs> if i could do my own i would um and i'm a cancer uh, my birthday is July 16th and I'm 22 that's more than three things but hey what do you think the hardest thing will be about becoming a youtuber uh, the hardest thing I think is being consistent so last time when I started my channel I got I started off very good and it was mainly college things because I was in college um, and then I just, I guess life happens, finals, tests, boyfriends, life just happened and I stopped. So my goal to, to what I'm sticking, I'm trying to stick with it and be consistent and not give up and not, you know, what I say, not be, cons not give up, not give up, just go with the flow and be consistent because it's easy to just you know get lost within being a mom within the military life within my business so i want to do this youtube thing so i feel like it's a great way for me to express myself and how i'm feeling and just have you know somewhere to go to voice myself and voice my opinion um so yeah be consistent i think that's gonna be so hard but i mean you got to be consistent with your business and that's something i'm still learning too as an entrepreneur the main thing is consistency so sticking my sticking to it sticking to it what do you think the most rewarding thing will be i can just envision it now like people like alexis you are such an inspiration i'm so glad you decided to do this channel because I get that a lot when I when I as a coach and as a business owner and with doing lashes I talk to women all the time I talk to women a lot um, and people always tell me like wow I'm so proud of you I'm so glad you're sticking to it I'm so glad you know you helped me start my own business because I've helped multiple women start their own businesses so I just love that I can use my knowledge and my everything that I know and help somebody else. Anything that I'm going through, I just love that I will I can be that person that can help you and put you into the position that you need to be to win. So I don't know, I'm just excited and I'm just going with it. I am I don't know where it's going to take me. I just feel like this is a great time for me. I'm going to be going through a lot of things as far as adjusting to the new mom life, um, still being an entrepreneur. This military life is definitely new and I'm definitely very, very, very new to it. So I just feel like there's a lot of things that are going on in my life that I want to document so that way I can look back on it and see my growth over the years. So yeah, you see yourself being on YouTube for a long time. So yeah, like I was saying, basically, um, YouTube is just going to be for me to express myself and for you to come to me with questions for you guys to be able to relate to me. Um, but mainly my main focus is I'm doing it for myself so that way I can be the vessel. Is that, is that what I'm trying to say? So that I can be that person to help others. Like I'm, I'm, I feel like I've been so private and I just, I'm ready to express myself and be that vessel for you guys if you need it.
or want it or like it. I gotta hurry up. I gotta go to lunch. I'm gonna go to the Juicy Crab. I've never had the Juicy Crab, so I'm gonna go and get some seafood. Ow. If you've been to the Juicy Crab, like this video and tell me what's your favorite thing um, that you get from there. Just go for it. Be consistent. This is what I tell people when they take my classes. As far as with their business goes, just go for it. Like you won't ever know if you're good at something or if something if you like what you do. If you don't ever try, um, I feel like what's what can what do you have to lose in a sense by doing a YouTube channel? Really nothing. If you as far as like with a business goes, if you invest money, things like that, of course you lose out. But with YouTube, like you literally just go for it no matter how many views you have how many subscribers you have how many likes you get at the end of the day if you're really into it and if you're genuinely this is something that you like to do it'll show and people will you know gravitate towards you and so on so my tip is to just go for it and i was i i've just started this book um and I literally was just looking at this quote and it says, if you want to live a life you've never lived, you have to do things you've never done. So that just wraps up what I got to say. Like, go for it. Why not? Like, why not? At this point in life, if you've gone this far and you really, really, really want to do something, why not? You oftentimes people ask themselves why, <laughs> why not? This is more, this is really for me, but I also want to use this platform to help other people through everything that's going on in my life. If that makes sense. I hope it does. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for watching my video. Um, thank you, thank you, thank you. Just comment. If you have any questions, if you would like to see more from me, what would you guys like to see from me first? Um, like my video, please. If you like me, if you F with your girl, like my videos. Um, and subscribe, because that's the only way you're going to keep up with what I got going on if you subscribe. So. But yes, like, comment, and subscribe. And thank you guys for watching. Um, I will be back again with more videos, so... See y'all later. I'm so I'm so cheesy. <laughs> See y'all later.